Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Discriminating Gamer. Say, have you heard that scientists have recently developed a breed of transparent cattle? Steer clear. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at QE Commodities, the expansion from BoardGameTables.com. We'll get back to the review in just a moment. I want to take a minute to ask you to check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about history, books on history, military history. I even post some of my uh, lectures for my classes on there. Please check that out. Please subscribe to that channel. And now, back to the review. QE Commodities from BoardGameTables.com is the expansion to the game of QE, a game of high finance and international intrigue. Ladies and gentlemen, I love QE. It is a fantastic game. Let's see what this expansion brings to our table. Now, in QE, players essentially are bidding for different uh, corporations, different industries. The auctioneer, who's one of the players that rotates, the auctioneer will write down kind of an opening bid. Could be any number, doesn't matter. All the other players, they can bid whatever they want. The numbers don't matter. They can go ahead and bid as much as they want, and whoever gets the highest bid wins that particular uh, industry, which will score them points at the end of the game. However, whoever bid the most money at the end of the game automatically loses. So I guess the numbers do matter. Well, here in uh, QE Commodities, what you do is with the uh, commodities, you place them out on the board. And you have different kinds of commodities. You have gold, you have oil, and you have crypto. And oil's pretty stable. Uh, you're going to get you know, some, some decent points there. Crypto can be all over the place. You can get a lot of points for that, or you might get one that gives you no points whatsoever. And gold uh, is going to do really well until it's all gone. If all the gold is gone, then the market's going to collapse for gold, and your gold is worth less. So what's going to happen is when you bid for the industries, uh, the player who gets the most, of course, just like in the regular game, will get that industry. And, of course, the uh, uh, auctioneer will write the number on the back of the industry, hand it to the person. But whoever bid the second highest can gain a commodity. They're going to go ahead and get the commodity. Now, the player, the auctioneer, will write the number, what they paid for the commodity, on the back of the commodity and hand it to them. But then they will also have a player board, the commodity board, that they will keep secret, and they will write essentially what that commodity was worth. Essentially, that, that player is selling them the commodity. They place that down. Now, at the end of the game, when you do your scoring, and there's some, some changes to scoring. For instance, you can't score for, for zero bids in this game. Once you go ahead and you figure out uh, all that at the, at the end of scoring, you get everything laid out for the end of scoring, uh, you can take all of the money that, that, that was owed to you because of the commodities and subtract that from your total. So potentially, the commodities could save you from being the person that goes too much and is automatically eliminated. Now, as I say, I love QE. It is a fantastic game. It is a brief game, but there's an element of bluffing there. There's an element of of uh, tension as you are trying to win these commodities that you need so much, but uh, these industries that you need so much, and then you add these commodities into it, and it really changes a lot of the dynamics. Not so much that the game becomes like, unrecognizable. The game is still very much the same, but now there's just this new layer to the whole thing, which is really, really interesting. So a couple of weeks ago, my friends and I, we sat down and we played uh, commodities uh, with, with QE. And very easy, very intuitive to add into your game. And we all had tremendous fun. I'll tell you right now, this is an essential expansion. I love QE. I will never play QE again without this expansion. It brings so much to the game. Like I say, it heightens it. It gives you a chance, even if you're spending a ton of money, you might have a chance to mitigate that if you have sold a lot of the commodities. It is a great expansion to a great game, and the Discriminating Gamer highly recommends QE Commodities. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us here on YouTube on Board Game Geek on our Facebook page or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We'd ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. And I'd ask you to check out my other channel, that is Cody Carlson PhD, where we talk about military history, books on history, fun things like that. I even post some of my lectures on that channel. So please uh, check out that channel and subscribe to that channel. It would mean a lot to me. We'd also ask you to please leave a thumb to this video on Board Game Geek. And if you are a big fan of the channel, you like the content we bring you here, I'd ask you to humbly click on the Super Thanks button and leave a contribution. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I recently swallowed a whole container of food coloring.
I feel like I've died inside. Oh yeah, wait, was, yeah, was. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Yeah, you're gonna be stuck with a million dollar debt. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. I didn't think this through.